In this video, we will be explaining about Cypher Feedback Mode. Cypher Feedback Mode, also known as CFB, is a mode of operation for a block cipher. It is similar to cipher block chaining, whereby it also makes use of an initialization vector, IV. It uses a block cipher as a component for a random number generator. In this mode, the cipher text block is encrypted and the output is X or ED with the current plaintext block to create the current cipher text block. The X or operation conceals the plaintext patterns. The plaintext cannot be directly worked on unless there is retrieval of blocks from either the beginning or end of the cipher text. Here's a diagram on the workings of CFB. We will now explain about encryption with CFB. We will be using an initialization vector, or IV in short, which can be of any bits depending on the user and the encryption used. S bits of the plaintext will be encrypted for each step. S bits is commonly 8 bits, but it of course is still user determined. We start with the first input block which will be the IV. The input block will then be encrypted, producing the output block. The output block looks like a simple block, but it actually consists of two parts. The select part, and the discard part. The leftmost S bits is selected while the rest is discarded. The selected S bits will then be X or with the first S bits of the plaintext to produce the cipher text. We have now obtained our first S bit cipher text. To obtain the next S bits of the cipher text, we will need to get the next input block. The input block from the previous step will be shifted left by S bits and used as the leftmost bits of the new input block. The previous cipher text will then be reused as the rightmost bits of the new input block. So, we have now obtained the new input block. Similar to the previous step, we encrypt the new input block to obtain the output block. The S bits of the output block and the next S bits of the plaintext is then X or to obtain the next cipher text. This process is repeated until all the cipher text has been obtained. We will now talk about decryption. Decryption is similar to encryption. We just need to swap the placing of the plaintext and the cipher text. This are the steps for decryption. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of using CFB. So in CFB, we don't need to do any padding. It also has a very good error recovery, because the bit error only affects 1 bits. And decryption can be parallelized. But with advantages comes disadvantages. CFB is prone to bit flipping attacks. A bit flipping attack is an attack on a cryptographic cipher in which the attacker can change the cipher text in such a way as to result in a predictable change of the plaintext. Although the attacker is not able to learn the plaintext itself. Besides that, encryption cannot be parallelized. And it has no pre-computation of the key stream. That is all, thank you for watching.